What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. It's cool to see African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into the spoiler review of Avengers Infinity War. I really enjoyed this movie. This movie was amazing. Just gonna dive right into the heartache. Like, this movie is amazing, but it's emotionally draining, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna dive right into the deaths. Uh, Idris Elba's character dies. I think he was the first person to die. I mean, like, they, they were bold to kill. Like the first person to die I technically wasn't because there was a bunch of their scouty instead but the first person to physically die like not already dead was idris alba a black person i was like yo are you guys enforcing the stereotype right now uh loki also died tom hiddleston he performed well but i was like what are you doing dude do you think you can take on thanos like i was just taken back like those two deaths i was like Oh, you know, it's collateral. Marvel's actually doing something. But these characters are expendable in a sense. Not that I wanted them dead, but I'm just saying they're more expendable than the, the main Avengers. I knew it was, was legit real when Gamora took the L. Yo, she was getting cocky though. Like, haha, yo, who knew that something you were never able to do would be the reason like the universe is against you your plan will never work then Thanos turns around with a tear basically kills her yo that was just an intense moment that was the second they like, gut punching <laughs> moment in the movie because the, even the Loki death was so graphic I was like yo this movie 13 for real <laughs> like goddamn Loki's death was was not a normal death Ah, then you got those other people who just disappeared. Oh, yo, let's go to the worst one of them all, Peter Parker. The way he disappeared when he was like, Tony, Tony's, I feel weird. Then he passed. Yo, yo, that moment, yo, that moment was hard to, to take in, you know. Like, a lot of characters, Drex. Um, who else disappeared? Falcon disappeared. Um, Black Panther, that was a shock also. <laughs> I'm South African, I was in the South African theater, so we went out for Black Panther. That, that was some of our culture. We dressed out, we went ham. I mean, like, damn, the, the crowd in the cinema lost their shit when Black Panther died. Uh, Star Lord vanished, Mantis vanished, Bucky vanished, Groot vanished, Doctor Strange vanished, Vision died. He didn't vanish, he died. Uh, uh, Nick Fury and Marion Hill died, vanished. The Collector, I think he's dead. Unless, for some reason, Thanos spared him, but he seemed like he's dead. But also, he was doing the reality show thing, kind of to make a scene for Gamora, and Gamora kind of cried as she killed Thanos. But now nah, it was the reality stone. You know what I'm talking about. If you're watching this, you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Let's talk about Hulk and Thanos going at it. When Loki was like, we have a Hulk, then Hulk pumps out, like, huh, takes Thanos down. But Thanos is like, I, I the Black Order was even like, nah, let him have his fun. Then Thanos just showed him, same bigger, I think he was bigger than Hulk, and he just came in with the punches. I like how the Russo brothers do the... The action sequences is coordinated so proper, like it's so amazing. Um, downfalls of the movie, there's quite a few. Still a perfect movie in a sense that it should surprise the fuck out of me. Met my expectations, surprised me. Didn't really meet all my expectations, let's be, let's be honest. Cap didn't have enough screen time. He was pulling this mysterious thing. Him and Black Widow especially, they were pulling this whole mysterious thing. Like, you don't know where we've been. And Falcon's like, awkward. Like, when Bruce popped out, like, did something happen? Did I miss something? Uh, Black Panther was also under use of the, the value. I mean, the revenue it was able to produce. I was like, what? Why aren't they using this dude more? Um, it was a letdown. Uh, they had top-notch action sequences from the Wakanda, from planets, uh, uh, Thanos' planet, uh, Titan. Like, it was just so well-coordinated. Like, this was such a large-scale movie. That it was basically, like, three, four stories intertwining and, like, ending. It's so much tragedy. So much. Like, I was surprised the MCU 
like went there. It went there, yo. Uh, Thor stole the show with his new hammer, Stormbreaker. Thor, Thor is slowly becoming my favorite Avenger. Like, yo, Ragnarok was fire. This movie, he shined. He's still not better than Tony, though. Know? Tony, I'm still t Team Tony all the way. Even here with his New York team, he just shined. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people clapped for a lot of moments. They clapped when Cap showed up. You know, when he caught the shield, I mean the spear. They clapped for Doctor Strange when he went all out with Thanos when they saw a lot of him. They clapped for Tony's new suit with the way it came on. They clapped when they saw Black Panther, of course. Um, Tony was awesome as always. Never disappoints me. Like, his interaction with, Doctor, with Stephen Strange was perfectly done. I expected it to butt heads the way they did. And I expected it the way they grew to appreciate each other. Like, they were calling each other, yo, get the wizard, the uh, pretty billionaire type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't really, like, grasp all the dialogue all at once. Like, it was a lot of things to take in. Um, Spider-Man was really cool. The Iron Spider suit just was awesome. The way he just got on him when he was falling over that spaceship donut. <laughs> uh, that's what they call it. Um, not other letdowns. There was no Hawkeye. There was no Ant-Man. Valkyrie somewhere. Because Thor does briefly mention that half the Asgardians are dead. And Valkyrie wasn't in the pile. So she probably left with some of the Asgardians to safeguard them. Um, Thanos, this was a Thanos movie. Thanos really shined. This was his movie. The gauntlet just looked perfect on his arm. Um, it was weird that his ambition, like he's driven. Like, yo, if you were as driven as Thanos, you're going to make it in life. I'm, I want to get that driven. That dude did not let anything stop him. Like, at the end, he did have a moment with Gamora, Kid Gamora, when he was like, what did it take to fulfill your your goal is like everything yo and he he smiled at the end when he looked out in the sunset this was an amazing movie like population control drove him to do what he's done and he he executed it first i was like did he change time and these people ceased to exist but some people stayed and i was like yo he actually executed his plan you know and the conflict what happened to it did it disintegrate or something do the stones still work? I'm not sure. Like, oh, another dope moment was when we saw Red Scar. Red Scar came back with the whole Soul Stone moment. With the Soul Stone, the way it was so unknown, was so easy kind of to get. Like, he did have to kill Gamora, which was a gut punch, but I thought it would be more difficult. The other stones were omissions, yo. Like, the Black Order had to go through a lot to try and get the other infinity stones weird enough Thanos got them his own damn self uh, I mean I can really fulfill what he said at the end of Age of Ultron and I guess I gotta do it myself but after saying that why why did he send the Black Order because they were kind of useless they were so disposable um, there's some things that weren't addressed that I had an issue with like uh, Bruce's and Black Widow's relationship they just basically acknowledge each other's existence. Maybe they're gonna focus it in the other movie since they both did not disintegrate. Um, oh, they disintegrated, bro. <laughs> like people disintegrated. Uh, Cap and Tony was also something they didn't touch on, which everybody was kind of waiting for since Civil War. Like, how are they gonna interact? All he had was the phone moment. Just the phone, the flip phone. Some people haven't watched all the movies. I want, like, people are out there yelling, like, how, why does a billionaire have a flip phone? And I was like, what? Don't these people know what happened in Civil War and all these stuff? Like, this movie needed you to be where you were in the MCU. Like, the Road to Infinity Wars challenge was really key in this movie. Like, you had to know each arc. Like, they don't take time to explain shit to you. You have to know why this phone is significant. Why people have fallen off. <laughs> Bruce had a funny line when he's like, there's an Ant-Man and a Spider-Man now. That was a funny line. Uh, a lot of humor. Guardians were still funny throughout. Um, they still kept that humor. Like, and it molded so well with Thor. With the other Avengers, it kind of seemed goofy in a sense. Like, 
Toadie is also funny, but next to Star Lord it was like too much. Like, Star Lord was just too much for Tony. Um, overall, great movie. Did destroy me a little bit inside as as a MCU fanboy. I'm also a DCU fanboy, so don't get it twisted. Uh, nine out of ten, legit. It's past Civil War. It's not Winter Soldier level or BVS level. Like I'm gonna post my list later on. I'll talk about my list. I'll make a separate video for that. If you wanna see it, obviously subscribe to the channel. But legit, ten, nine out of ten. Fantastic movie, action packed, a lot of gut punches, a lot of people took some L's. I mean, like, I even started with the L's. So, uh, do subscribe to my channel if you like my review or really enjoyed this movie. Hopefully, I can watch it again Tuesday. Tuesday, that should be significant enough time for me to calm down out of this. God, oh, that was gut, <laughs> gut punching. Uh, if you want to see my initial reaction of the thing, I made, a, I made a short vlog. Go check it out on my channel. Uh, Deuces.